selfie camera, 4K 30 FPS. Stabilization is a bit shaky, I have to say. Uh, however, you know, like dynamic range, this is a really good, I'm very happy. I have reviewed a couple of Xiaomi and Honor and all the Chinese brands and they tend to be very struggling with selfie camera and a dynamic range, but here, definitely not a problem. Uh, but let's take some selfies now. Worth mentioning, we've got 1080p 60fps available, which I'm using now, and again, dynamic range. Look at that! This is very nice. I have to say, guys, that this phone feels like a premium device, not a mid-range anymore. Like, we don't have a plastic frame anymore. It is slightly bigger. The cameras are exactly the same as we could see on A54. However, uh, we've got a slightly more powerful chipset. I'm not a huge fan of Oxenus, but uh, we're gonna see. I will be editing the whole video using this phone, so then I can tell you at the end how this phone managed with performance-wise. This is the dual mode video. You keep changing the names every time I look at this. Like, it's, it's called differently, which is a bit strange. Like, stabilization, not the best when you are using this uh, mode. So I would keep it still as possible. By the way, if you are enjoying my content, huge sub to the channel will be very appreciated guys we're getting close to 50,000 subscribers that's pretty amazing maximum zoom times 10 4k 30 fps switch back to ultra wide angle that was not too bad you know for mid-range phone i don't have any complaints here but let's check on stabilization i am holding this phone in the hands no tripod today handheld footage and I'm happy with that. Great that I can switch between the lenses during recording. Sadly, flagship Xiaomi 14 Pro was not able to do so, which was very disappointing in my opinion. And this is digital zoom times two. But let's take some pictures now. Right, this is super steady video on 1080p, but I don't think this is a very steady video. You better stick to ultra or angle on 4K. No, I wouldn't really recommend this. I'm just walking. Let me do a little run. Yeah, this is something I would definitely would not recommend using for being steady action kind of a stuff. So, not really. So you can see this is the quality when you just get a little bit closer to the subject. This is times two, that digital cropping. However, quality looks pretty okay. It's not a very bright day today. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple of macro. There is dedicated five megapixel macro camera. Uh, yeah, but the results should be okay. Check this out. This is times two, still recording in 4K, 30 FPS. And I have to say, I really enjoy the portrait photography using that portrait mode. Check this out.
just using Pro Video Mode uh, 1080p 60fps. Sadly, it's, uh, the Pro Video Mode is only available on the main sensor. Let's move on to some low light condition. I have to so this is the quality at night, 4K 30fps. Me and my daughter and my dogs just enjoying a little walk. Uh, but let's switch to the main sensor, then you can see the bright of the videos. Look at that! That's pretty impressive. And then this is times two. Love it. That's pretty awesome for mid range device, I have to say. This is selfie camera and I have to say surprisingly in my opinion is doing a pretty good job as you can see it is very very dark I am standing by the light uh, but let's take some selfies now Hey guys, A54 was one of my favorite mid-range devices and this is uh, even better because of the build quality. It feels like a premium device, I have to say. Night photography is looking great, daytime portraits, micro is okay, but I wasn't expecting, you know, crazy results. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below, guys, and I'll catch you next one. Cheers.